But here you are, 6th place to visit when you unveil Washington. Most people think about visiting Seattle downtown when they think about Washington, but Bellevue have a lot of other things to offer. So are you ready? Let's go check out where they are. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and let's get started. Number 1. Bellevue Downtown Park Bellevue Downtown Park is 21 acre West Sesame Green in the heart of Bellevue. You can walk around, you can joke and enjoy decoration and there are many things that anywhere is adult and kids alike. So it's a really nice place to visit and you cannot miss it because it's also next to the mall which is the Bellevue Downtown has offered. Number 2. Bellevue Square Mall Bellevue Square Mall is next to Bellevue Downtown Park. It's a shopping center in Bellevue, Washington. The mall has over 200 retail stores, including Macy's and Nordstrom, and so much more. It has so many visitors, millions and millions of visitors annually. And then you can see the list here, what kind of store there, and they are ever changing. And there's a Ben & Jerry ice cream store, which I like, so I got one. They're pretty awesome. And there's a really nice coffee shop called Wood Coffee, if you want to, want to take some break. And refreshing. Number three, Maiden Bird Bay Park. Maiden Bird Bay Park it sits on the side of Bellevue, but kind of oversees the Bird Marshall Island, which is a mid island sits between Seattle and Bellevue. It's a really nice looking, er nice looking area where you can joke and then take a deep breath and just walking around. And then there's a place boat house where you can actually take classes and then really nice looking houses and then just amazing view. So it's a good place to just take a little break and we just want to walk around and it's an amazing place to be. Number 4. Bellevue Art Museum Bellevue Art Museum is a museum of contemporary visual art, craft and design located in Bellevue, Washington. It is established by a non-profit organization and it has many interesting art that is based on contemporary design. Just by walking around, has a, even though it's a small, has a lot of interesting pieces. So you can kind of see and enjoy the calmness and all the elegant pieces that this museum all has to offer. Number 5. L Experience Paris. Yes, I know, it's not a place, but it's like a bakery. But it's a really nice place to visit, at least once if you visit in the Velvet area. They daily cook this bread and dessert and bakery items and then it's very interesting and then delicious so I think it's worthwhile to check out. Just look at some of those dessert they made it for us. You know it's just amazing. So if you're in the area I highly recommend to check out just to see and then try yourself. Number six Dave and Buster. You will be like okay Dave and Buster are you kidding me? But it's nice, it's a place that open late and you can watch sports, you can play games, you can drink. I think what else can you can you do one for? So I think it's a pretty nice place, so it's a really good place to visit. That's it. I hope you like watching this video and be sure to like it.